Hey everyone, welcome back to Unity Roundtable, a series where we discuss Unity-related news, tips and tricks, tutorials, and more. Late in December, Unity unveiled the next major version of Cinemachine. Here's a quick breakdown of all the changes you can expect to see and process you'll have to go through to upgrade. But before we get started, I'd like to mention that my content is powered in part by my patrons, the subscribers of Andrew David Plus. More on this at the end of the video. A lot of the changes in version 3 revolve around behind the scenes and quality of life improvements rather than being focused on bringing new features. The first thing you'll notice is that they finally updated the nomenclature to no longer use the M prefix in their variable names. They've also renamed a couple other things, such as virtual camera to CM camera, the transposer and framing transposer properties to follow and position composer respectively, and the collider extension to the occluder, which more accurately represents what it does. They've added a new shortcut to create a targeted camera by right-clicking directly on the target. This will create a new CM camera with the target automatically set to the object you highlighted. One big workflow improvement is the new inspector layouts. They've completely refreshed the UI with clearer and simpler language, better grouping, and made them less overwhelming by reducing the amount of numbers and properties you see when setting up a new CM camera. Most of those properties are now split out into new components and only appear when you actually need them so your CM camera's inspector will only get as complex as you need it to be. They've also improved their free look camera system. Previously, it was a unique component with its own properties, but now it's a simple CM camera with two additional components, orbital follow and rotational composer. This makes it much easier for you to manage. The orbital follow has a new radial axis property, which is used to zoom in and out. And finally, they've added a bunch of free look modifiers, which cover some of the most common use cases. Use these to speed up your camera setup. Another huge improvement is the decoupling of the reading of inputs from behaviors to accommodate various input options and make integrations easier. While it definitely was possible to use Cinemachine with custom input systems in the past, it would always require a lot of work and mapping your own custom input systems back to the Unity input system that Cinemachine used internally. This is now possible to do without having to do any of that middleware or overhead work. The Dolly system now uses Unity's new native spline system. This makes it a lot more fluid to work with, allows for scalability as Unity continues to improve the spline system, and removes the additional bloat that would come with having a custom spline system that was specifically built for Cinemachine. And finally, Cinemachine 3 introduces its own custom layering system called Channel Masks. This makes using multiple Cinemachine brains for split screen or picture in picture so much smoother. You no longer need to use up Unity's layer slots for multiple cameras and keeps everything contained within the CM camera component. Moving over from Cinemachine 2.x to 3.x is actually quite easy. All CM2 classes and components are still there and marked as deprecated, so upgrading won't break your game with missing script errors, so you can take your time converting all your old camera systems to the new ones. The pain points might be updating the API in your code if you have a lot of custom systems built around them, but this is expected for most major upgrades to APIs. I would definitely recommend sticking to Cinemachine 2 in your current game projects and experimenting with Cinemachine 3 in your next project or prototype instead. Cinemachine 3 does come with a CM upgrader, but make sure to back up all your scenes before doing so because it is undoable. Using source control like Git should make this easy. If you'd like to try it now, Cinemachine 3 is already available as a pre-release package in the Unity 2023 alpha. And if you're interested in more Unity tools, watch this video right here. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. By subscribing to Android David Plus, you get early access to videos, behind the scenes content, exclusive monthly video updates, access to join our private Discord hangouts, and more. Thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.